Hey guys, I'm back for another video, and unfortunately, um, I'm really sorry to tell you this, but um, low-carb diets are now linked to atrial fibrillation. I know this is this is really this is really scary because we're going to have to all go back to our high-carbohydrate diets, you know, based on this study. Yeah, I, I don't even know why I need to do this video because this is ridiculous. They did a study, and they found the link between low carb and atrial fibrillation, which is a problem of the heart. Couple problems with the study, okay? First of all, it was a little questionnaire. It was an observational study, which is the least credible of all studies. Why? Because there's an unlimited number of variables that could cause this. They showed that the low carb group increased risk for atrial fib by 16% if we compare it to the high carb group. If we compare the low carb to the moderate carb group, it was an increase in risk for, to atrial fib by 18%. That's pretty scary. Wow, increased by 16% or 18%. And the researcher who led the study stated, while the research shows an association, okay, it can't prove cause and effect. All right, guys, so what is the big problem with this study? Right here, how they defined low carbohydrates. Their definition is 44.8% of the total calories being carbohydrates. Guys, that is not low carb. When you do keto, you're only doing 5% of the total calories being carbohydrates. They're doing it, you know, near 45%. That is a high carbohydrate diet. So really, this so-called low carbohydrate study didn't even evaluate low carbohydrates. So basically what they do is they take a group of people who are consuming a high amount of carbohydrates and they split up into three groups and then they're evaluating the relationship between high carb to high carb, high carb to high carb. That's what they're doing, okay? And it's very interesting because every week you see this new study that comes out that's scaring people, okay? Uh, well, this is co a completely false study because they're putting doubt in people's mind when they're not even evaluating low carbs. I mean, it's actually kind of ridiculous. I mean, the next thing you know, they'll probably come out with something like, I don't know, keto crotch, where your private parts now have bad odor when you do keto or something like that. That would be hilarious. So you know my viewpoint on this topic. I wanna to know your viewpoint. What do you think about this video? Go ahead and comment down below.